I rather like your ship. Not exactly military, but it'll be nice not sleeping in a thermosuit. Once we're underway, you'll bring me up to speed on my duty, sir. Show me the tricks of undercover work. I look forward to training you personally, Ensign. I was afraid you'd leave it to the Ratataki. I probably ought not to bring this up, but there is the matter of my talents. If I'm operating in the Empire, there's the chance the Sith will find out what I can do. They wouldn't be pleased. As part of my crew, you have my protection. Understood, sir. In the meantime, I intend to make myself irreplaceable. You said you wanted to talk. Yes, sir. Ensign Rena Temple, formerly of the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force, reporting for combat drills. I can show you a few things. What brings this on? Frankly, I need the practice. No one ever taught me covert maneuvers. If you've got time... You're just looking for an excuse to be alone with me. That's only one of many benefits. Are you coming? All right. I think I've sweat enough for one day. Any last words of wisdom for your freshly transferred ensign? Never let anything distract you. No one can compensate for your errors. I'm confident it isn't so dire. But I take your point. You know, my father used to come home from exercises freshly scarred. I was 12 before I realized his training drills were intelligence operations. He was captured twice, but he wouldn't let me worry, no matter how bad it got. You two must have been close. Oh, I adored him. He gave me a pet feelings for my birthday. That'll melt any girl's heart. Thank you for the lesson. A few more and I'll be infiltrating enemy camps with the best of them. Sir, since our combat session went so well, I thought we might try something else. Lessons in interpersonal manipulation and information extraction. Lecture one entitled... Once they think they need you, they'll tell you anything. Descriptive name, sir. Is it always about need? When I first arrived at Zero Station, no one trusted me. I was the human Imperial who must have been a spy. But I learned my way around. And once the Chiss accepted my competence, it was easy to make friends. I'm not the only one who finds you charming. And yet, I'm still here. More seriously, though, I'm stuck somewhere, infiltrating a gang of spy stealers. How do I play it? You blend into the background and wait for an opportunity. Don't stir the pot unless you know what you're in for. I'll happily leave that to you, then. I don't know what you think of my potential, sir, but I do appreciate your guidance. I've been deceiving people like an amateur for years. Time I started doing it right. How can I help you, Ensign? I have a purely professional question for you, sir, if you don't mind my asking. When you lie to a woman over the course of a mission, make her think you're interested, does it bother you? I prefer methods with less collateral damage. Don't mistake me, I've been involved with plenty of the wrong men, but going in there was always the chance they'd work out. I don't know how I'd handle living one life in the field and another back at home. It must be exhausting. Sometimes it's best to live in the moment. Enjoy it while it lasts. Spoken like a true hedonist. So I should abandon my dreams of romance? Have I ever mentioned what a pleasure you are? It might have come up. For the record, we'd be defying all sorts of military protocols, and I won't be held responsible. We'll just have to risk our careers. Understood, sir. Then we have a lot to look forward to. What's going on, Ensign? Sir, Dr. Logan's been filling in the gaps in my education. He has quite a few stories. Here's what puzzles me. I've always been taught to respect the chain of command, and yet you... How does anyone control a field agent? You're really perturbed by this. Are you that used to pure obedience? Yes, I am. And I don't think that's a bad thing. The Empire expects its operatives to make command decisions from the front line. That doesn't work. Eventually, you stop relying on your handbook, and you put the good of the Empire first. I was hoping for something more concrete. Maybe a numbered list? I don't want to do wrong, sir. My father ignored an edict from the Sith, and instead of facing his punishment, he ran. I won't repeat his mistake. Accidentally. What did your father do that was so terrible? I'd rather not discuss it. Refusing to do his duty was enough. I'll stop troubling you about this. Back to the job, then. 
You know, sir, the Chist Defence Force has a term for when a subordinate is entangled with his or her superior officer. It's considered an honourable and tragic state. If discovered, the lower-ranking officer is encouraged to go out in a blaze of glory. You're not with the Defence Force anymore, and I'd rather you not martyr yourself. I was so hoping you'd say that. Of course, according to Imperial naval tradition, a captain is expected to dine with his closest associates, male or female, once a month. It's a show of loyalty. Ensign, it would be my pleasure if you joined me for a meal. I'd enjoy that very much. I won't rush you, but somewhere planet side would be nice. Something I can help you with, Ensign? I was hoping you could increase my security clearance, sir. At least long enough so I could know about my promotion. What promotion are we talking about? The top secret one, sir. I can only assume it occurred. I'm pleased to say that I finished, as best I can, putting myself through the Imperial Intelligence Training Regimen, save the psychological tests. With your help, I'm now almost qualified to be here. Thank you. If you have more questions, feel free to ask. I was taught the best operatives figure it out for themselves. What is it, Ensign? Sir, remember I told you I completed the intelligence training program? Well, frankly, I'm a little embarrassed, and the rest of my numbers were very good. But I apparently forgot one of the final tests. I'm sure you could convince me to forgive one tiny mistake. Sir, I wouldn't feel right. I neglected to complete the interpersonal subversion examination. I'm supposed to be able to move and talk and act in a way that holds the attention of my target. It's a very delicate examination, as I understand. I'll have to pass judgment myself, then. Shall we find some privacy? Certainly, sir. So what do you think, sir? Have I learned to your satisfaction? You were wonderful. But not many Imperials would be here with a chiss. No, and I've never been fond like this of a chiss before. But I rather enjoy your company. I assume you don't mind. Back to the job. Yes, Ensign? Sir, there's something you should know. I've been scanning Chiss frequencies, passing the time, checking low security reports. An old associate left this message where he knew I could find it. It's a hologram that Chiss intercepted from Korriban. Play the message, please. I have received the fugitive's location. Even he could not run forever. We must now find the force sensitive he hid from us. Intelligence need no longer be involved. I will make Cypher 3 pay for his defiance myself. I'm sorry, sir. If I knew this would be an issue, I would have told you earlier. Cypher 3 is my father. The Force Sensitive is hiding is me. He's been on the run from the Sith all these years. Impressive. I was a child. When the Sith made their rounds, my father made sure I was elsewhere. Then he disappeared. The Sith will do worse than kill him. Torture? Public display? He can't go through that. Not for me. If you have a solution, I'm listening. I can find my father before Lord Duroc does. There are coordinates in the message. With your permission, I can give him her quick death. He saved your life. The least you can do is help him. I can't. I have to be better than him. I have to do my duty. I won't be gone long. Besides, if I don't do something, your security could be compromised. Be safe out there. Find your father and come back. And be careful of that Sith. I will. Thank you. It's done. I'm back. I found Cypher 3. I found my father. And I executed him, so the Sith couldn't. He said he understood. I wish there had been a way to spare him. Don't apologize. He was a criminal, and we did our duty. But he was hunted down and punished for keeping me a secret. Real justice would be turning myself into the Sith. Cypher 3 made that choice for you. He started the lie, but I've kept it going for years. I'm grateful for your help. 
We did the proper thing. How are things with you? Excellent, sir. I just heard Lord Ulius is conducting another opera, and I'm looking forward to the hollow playback. You know, it's been a while since we discussed it, but I believe you were going to take me out to dinner. Just say the word. Did you have somewhere in mind? There's a fantastic Mandalorian restaurant in Car City. I'm half allergic to the dumplings, and I still love it. But anywhere in the galaxy will suffice, if the company is right. And that is the only time I ever went barefoot in the garden. I do like you, sir. I don't want to lose you on some nameless satellite somewhere. That's a bit sudden and pessimistic. I'm not an optimistic person. I'm sorry, I don't mean to bring us down. It really has been a wonderful evening. There's still time. We could take a walk. Enjoy our privacy a while. Take our minds off trouble. You know I'd like that. But for now, let's stop here. I want to remember this. You wanted to talk. I was just thinking about when we met. It was much colder, as I recall, and the aristocra was not entirely thrilled. I thought you'd be gone in a week. And you were, but somehow you dragged me along. I came to you out of an ambush in the snow, and there you were, glowing. Was I? Do you ever wonder about the future? Where the likes of us will stand in five, ten, fifty years? I imagine myself with a wife at my side. What about you? I can imagine you that way too. Was that a proposal, sir? Raina Temple, will you marry me? Yes. Yes. I will marry you. We don't have to do it on record. I realize there are consequences to making that sort of thing public. But I can wait. And in the meantime... In the meantime... So far as I'm concerned, we're man and wife. I love you, sir. Wrong-headed as you are sometimes. Whatever comes, I always will. Sir, I want you to be the first to know. I've declined to join the Toxitrooper Brigade on Quesh. I received a personalized transfer offer from Major Janus a few days ago. My time on Hoth flagged me as hostile environment capable. You couldn't tear yourself away from your husband, could you? No, sir. Tempting as the opportunity was. There really was a time when I'd have considered it. For the promotion. For the sake of hiding. Not so much anymore. I'm proud to stand with you and fight for the Empire until the end. I'm proud to have you at my side. Thank you, sir. Now, I believe we had a mission of some sort, shall we?